this is the trick for subtracting 9. There is a trick to it. Okay, so the easiest way to subtract 9 from any number is to just take away 10 and then add a 1 back on. So let's say you've got 21 minus 9. The easiest way to work that out is to go, okay, whoops, 21 minus 10 is 11. And we just got to add a 1 back on, which gives us 12. So the answer, and change my chalk, would be 12. If you want to double check, use one of the different strategies we've covered so far and check your answer. Now what I wanted to do is show you what happens when you're dealing with numbers like 90. You know, the, it's just like subtracting 9, but just on a bigger scale. So we've got 230 minus 90. What we're going to do here, same principle, but because we're working one place value up, in both, 230 and 90. It's just like 23 and 9. So what we're going to do is we're actually going to go 230. So instead of rounding 90 up to 10, we're going to round it up to 100. So 230 minus 100 oof, is 130. But because 90 is 10 less than 100, just like 9 is 1 less than, that, than 10, we're going to have to add 10 onto our answer, just like we would add 1 onto 10 to give us the correct answer. So 130 plus 10 gives us 140. So 140 is our answer. Using the same principle, have a think about C. So with 10s, with 9 we rounded it up to 10. For 90 we rounded it up to 100. What about if a number is 900? We're working in the thousands. What are we going to do with that? If you need to pause the video, have a think about it, and when you're ready, hit play. So we're actually going to round this one up to 1,000. Did you get it? So we've got 4,700 minus 1,000, which gives us 3,700. So what we're going to do now is, because 900 is 100 less than 1,000, we need to add 100 back onto our answer. So 3,700 plus 100 gives us 3,800. So 3,800 is our answer. Okay, so remember 9 goes up to 10 and then add a 1. 90 goes up to 100, add 10. And 900 goes up to 1,000 plus 100. Okay, have a go with the ones on the next slide and reach out if you get stuck.